Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know. <laughs> y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all are having a wonderful week so far. I hope you guys are gearing up, ready for the holidays. You guys are going to hear me say a lot of that over the next couple weeks. I definitely am. If you guys have ever heard slash internet met my friend Jody. This is the beautiful Jody right here. I met her when she and I were in prison together years ago it's it's been a long time now okay i got out in 2008 went in in 2005 so it's like getting closer to 20 years like that is so wild to think about nevertheless me jody and alex um us three met in prison and we became best friends in there and we are still very much best friends to this day we all talk in group chats and all that almost every single day and uh, Jody and her babies are getting ready to be here by the end of this week. And I'm so excited. They come at Christmas time and this is like a little tradition for them. And it's like a little vacation for them. And we want it to be a vacation for them. So I'm super excited to spend the weekend with my extended family. What are y'all going to do this weekend? Now, this is the problem, y'all. The video I had planned for y'all to go up actually on Tuesday, and that was on the 14th, supposed to go up just, the, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this video up for you guys today or tomorrow, but anyway, so Tuesday, y'all were requesting big time over on my Instagram. I was waking up, you guys were sending me all kinds of stuff. It is, it is, it's a, it's a video, okay? It is something that happened um, just a few days ago. And it has to do with this Baltimore man. And I was up last night until 1 a.m. And let me tell y'all something. Baby, I'm a grandma. I can't be staying up that late. Okay, I got things to do. I need my sleep, honey. These bags. I'm not 21 anymore. Okay. Anyways, I was up till 1 o'clock re-editing that video four times. Trying to get it up. And every single time I put it up, YouTube flagged it, restricted it, and all of this stuff. And I'm like... Not really sure why, but nevertheless, I ended up just completely taking it down because I don't want it to um, hurt my channel. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it onto my Patreon. If you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon. My Patreon is for 18 and up, and over there, typically, we talk about more personal stuff. We do really personal story times. We go live over there. It's a good time if you're 18 and up, you like to join but I'm going to make a new tier that's just for $2. So it's $2 a month. And I'm going to put in the $2 tier all the videos that YouTube says uh, are age restricted or they flag or say take down or whatever. And I'll just put the completely uncut. Well, not uncut. They'll be edited. But like where I bleep out a lot of stuff, if, if they... If I can't put a video up on YouTube or you guys have a topic y'all want me to talk about... I will put it over, like, and I know that there's no way I can make a video on that with YouTube and talk freely. I'll just do that, and I'll put it on the $2 tier over there. So if you guys want to just subscribe, you can. If not, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube for you guys to watch. You ain't got to pay $2 a month, okay? By no means. I'm just saying, I feel like that this is a way that I can still, because I worked hard on this video. I put all kind of clips in it. I put, this man went live on Facebook right before he did what he did. I mean, it's a very interesting video and I don't want to just trash it and this way it works out so two dollar tier on patreon the link will be right down in the description box I also have an instagram if you want to check me out and I also have a second channel casually Christina that I don't upload on much but I do plan on it. it's beginning the new year we'll talk about that later okay five minutes in holy moly 
So talking about this Durham Brian Laundry situation, y'all, I'm going to lose my doggone mind. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of stuff online saying that his parents were trying to get his assets out and that he had anywhere from $20,000 up to, well, less than $75,000. Now, trying to dig deep in it and research it, I cannot find a reputable source um, that I believe is just that we know how much is in there. Now, I, I do see sources that seem to be accurate that they're trying to get his estate or assets, but the but the ones that are saying that it's twenty thousand to seventy five thousand um, dollars, I don't know. So we'll just say allegedly at this point, okay? Allegedly, but if that is true, because I don't know where that number come from, twenty thousand dollars. I'm seeing a lot. If that young man had twenty thousand dollars in the bank. Even more, that makes me wonder why he flew home. Now, you guys, if you've been keeping up with this, okay, and I got a whole playlist, please go and check it out. If he flew home, allegedly, to move stuff out of storage to save money, which all of you guys just about have called the fact of, why would Brian Laundry fly home from across the country back to Florida to move stuff out of storage, which was probably at most $150 a month? I mean, come on. I mean, what, I mean... I'm in Florida. It's very affordable in my personal opinion, especially compared to y'all in LA. But anyways, move, move stuff out of storage. A plane ticket alone, that's going to be a $1,000 trip, round trip. You know, you could have went 10 more months and left your stuff in there. But then when you pair it with the dates of the two women that ended up being found deceased, and if you guys didn't watch this video right here, Please go and watch that video because I put together the timeline. I put it together a visual, just like I see it in my head for you to see it in your head. That wouldn't be make more. How, he had twenty thousand dollars in the bank. Like, I mean, that's a lot of flip flopping money in the bank. Twenty thousand, and he didn't work. Like, what was Daddy doing? So, and I also think if that is true, if he has twenty thousand dollars, his Gabby's family needs to get that money. Like they, they need to get that money now rolling on with that. And I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet. Cause y'all know, I love to talk. We can sit here all day rolling on with that though. Gabby's family is in a new documentary. Let me reach, make sure I have the name of that. Cause I want y'all to see this. The murder of Gabby Petito truth lies and social media. Now there is a trailer um, I cannot put it on here because they are going to copyright me, but I will leave the link to the trailer right down in the description box. So you guys can go and watch that yourselves too. Um, I am so curious to what they're going to say. Truth, lies, and social media. Whew. I cannot wait to, I really want to know what the parents thoughts are on the whole investigative situation where they said that they knew where Brian Laundry was and then they ended up not knowing. Now, I do see Gabby's family as very kind and respectable and like reserved in some ways. Now, her daddy looks like he can get with you, okay? Her, her biological dad looks like he, sometimes he looks like he was really holding his tongue. You know, but I, I, so I don't know if they're going to come out and speak against or, or tell how they, the, the, how they felt, or they may just say, oh, mistakes. I don't know. I want to know how they felt when they found out that Brian Laundry they were keeping tabs on him because Brian, because Gabby Petito's parents got up there at that press conference. I know I've said this a million times, but you guys, it's important and told the public and the press that they had full trust in the FBI to find out what happened and all of that and that they were putting all their trust in them and then come to find out Brian Laundry was already gone and they were they were surveilling the house with cameras all around it and he'd walked right by them and then later on the excuse was that they thought that was you know Brian Laundry's mother or something you know what I mean I really want to know how they feel about that if they want to I mean they don't owe us any explanation for sure but um and I wonder if they're going to, you know, I wonder what they're going to say about social media. In the beginning, they thanked social media for all of the, you know, getting the word out. Truly, if this hadn't went viral on TikTok, I mean, I don't know if it would have became as big as it did. You know, that's how you get people talking nowadays is social 
media. I mean, look at all these different cases that don't go wild on social media and stuff. And, you know, you don't hardly hear about them. So truth, lies, and social media. It sounds really good. Now, let me find out when it is coming out. And then I'm going to let you guys go. And then I'll see you guys on Friday. And Friday is a very good video. Y'all need to be here. Okay, be here or be square. It's a longer video. Now, I know a lot of you guys were asking for the longer videos, and it is a longer video. So if you like that type of thing, then be here. All right. Let's say, see here. The murder of Gabby Petito, Truth, Lies, and Social Media premieres on December 17th on Peacock. So that's going to be this Friday. Okay, now y'all come watch my video first. <laughs> And then go watch that. No, or back in, you know, whatever. And maybe next week we'll come and uh, we'll talk about it together. The beginning of next week. We'll see. Next week is Christmas week. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you going to watch that? Okay, you going over to Patreon and catch that other video that I worked so... Um, or what are you going to be doing? Let me know what you guys are doing this weekend. I always love reading y'all's comments. And I will see y'all on Friday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to like it. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.